Well, blessed Sabbath day, everyone. My name is Brother Kix, and welcome to Revival of Faith Ministries. Thank you for joining our Sabbath celebration this week, and I hope and pray that all of you are doing great, feeling blessed, especially today. Everyone say hallelujah. hallelujah. Friends, we are celebrating the last Sabbath of this month of January, and for our message this week, we will talk about something really important that we should all do as followers and believers. Mahalaga po ang ating tatalakayin sa araw na ito dahil ito po ay dapat nakikita mula sa atin at patuloy nating ginagawa lalo na bilang mga mananampalataya. Today friends, we will talk about the act of giving. But before we start, let us pause for a bit and open our message with a prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father Yahweh, Father, we give you thanks and praise for this wonderful and amazing Sabbath day. Thank you, Father, for blessing us with your holy day and for allowing us to honor you through our celebration. We ask you, Father Yahweh, to please guide us and be with us today as we receive your word and truth. Fill us up with your strength, with your knowledge and wisdom. Enable us to embrace your message with all our hearts. Let your every word be instilled in all of us and may it be evident in all that we do. Let your Holy Spirit speak through me. Use me as a vessel of blessing and inspiration to all your people. Once again, thank you so much, Father Yahweh, and we give you back all the glory and praise. All this we ask through the name of your Son, our Savior, Yahshua Messiah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Friends, our message today is entitled, The Habit of Giving. The Habit of Giving or yung kagawian ng pagbibigay. Friends, one of the most important traits or qualities that we should possess is being a giving person. O yung tinatawag po nating pagiging mapagbigay. You see, as human beings, we are considered as social creatures, which means we live, we relate, and we interact with other people. And one of the social qualities or social behaviors that we possess is giving. It means giving is part of our nature. Likas po sa atin ang pagbibigay. And it is proven that giving is really essential, especially as we coexist. As, as we coincide with one another. Ibig sabihin po, sa pakikipamuhay at pakikihalubilo natin sa ibang mga tao, mahalaga ang pagiging mapagbigay. It means giving is imperative. It means giving is important. That's why even at a young age, up until now, giving has been part of our core values Giving has been part of our guiding principles in life. Kaya, bata pa lang po tayo, tinuturo na sa atin yung kahalagahan ng pagiging mapagbigay. Bata pa lang po tayo, itinuturo na sa atin na dapat tayong maging mapagbigay. We have been taught that giving is important. We have been taught that giving is the right and good thing to do. Itinuro po sa atin na ang pagiging mapagbigay ay dapat nating isabuhay. So, our question is, how important is giving to you? Do you believe that giving is something that we must really do? Have you developed the habit of giving? Naniniwala ka ba na ang pagiging mapagbigay ay dapat nating isabuhay? O baka naman para sa'yo, Optional ang pagiging mapagbigay. Baka naman para sa iyo, ang pagiging mapagbigay ay pwede namang maghintay o ipagpaliban. Friends, like we said, the act of giving is an essential aspect of our lives. It is crucial, especially as we live and coexist with one another. Sino ka man, nasaan ka man, anuman ang sitwasyon o katayuan mo sa buhay, giving is something that we are to do. Sa loob man o sa labas ng ating tahanan, 
sa pamilya man o sa ibang tao, ang pagiging mapagbigay ay patuloy dapat nating ginagawa at isinasabuhay. That's why as followers and believers, we are constantly reminded by the scripture about the act of giving. Bilang mga mana ng palataya, paulit-ulit po tayong pinapaalalahanan ng mga salita ng ating amang yawe tungkol sa pagbibigay. In fact, we can read from the scripture that as followers and believers, we have been instructed to give. Mababasa po natin na tayo ay inatasang magbigay. We are instructed to share and offer what we have. Let us read that in 2 Corinthians 9, verse 7. It says, Each of you must give. Let me repeat that. Each of you must give what you have decided in your heart, not out of regret or compulsion, for Yahweh loves a cheerful giver. So the passage is telling us that we must give. Malinaw po na sinasabi sa atin ng mga salita ng ating amang Yahweh that we must give. Dapat daw po tayong magbigay regardless of what we decide to give. Ano man daw po yung mapagpasyahan nating ibigay, the important thing is we must give cheerfully or from the heart. Ang sabi naman po sa Luke 6 verse 30, Give to everyone who asks you? Give to everyone who asks you. When a person takes something that is yours, don't ask for it back. So again, the passage is reminding us that we must give. Dapat daw po tayong maging mapagbigay. Dapat daw po nating bigyan ang sinumang humihingi sa atin. But the question is, is this how we perceive giving? Do we have this kind of mentality about giving? Ganito ba natin isinasabuhay ang pagbibigay? Friends, do we have a giving attitude? We said that giving is an essential part of our lives. That's why it is imperative that we develop the habit of giving. We also said that as followers and believers, we have been instructed through the scripture, to give and offer what we have. But the thing is, for us to do all this, we must first have a giving attitude. For us to value and perceive giving as something essential, as something significant, we must first have a mindset of wanting to give. Para magawa nating magbigay, Dapat po meron tayo ng pag-uugali, meron tayo ng kaisipan na nakatuon sa pagbibigay. Hallelujah! Ibig sabihin, dapat po gustuhin muna nating maging mapagbigay. Because without a giving attitude, giving will never be important to you. Tama po ba? Without the right mindset towards giving, giving will not be something that you would want to do. Without a giving attitude, giving will just be a burden for you. That's why it says in Deuteronomy 15, verse 10, Give generously to them and do so without a grudging heart. Ano daw po? Without a grudging heart. For Yahweh, your Elohim, will bless you in everything you do. So we are to give without grudging. Ang ibig sabihin po, we are to give without feeling bad about it. Dapat daw po hindi masama sa loob natin yung pagbibigay natin. Ang sabi po sa Tagalog, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan, magbigay ka ng bukal sa kalooban mo at gawin mo ito ng walang sama ng loob. Sapagkat pagpapalain ka ni Yahweh na iyong Elohim sa lahat ng iyong gagawin. Everyone say hallelujah. And like we said, for us to do this, we need to have a giving attitude. We need to have the right perspective, the right mentality that will allow us to give freely and wholeheartedly. 
Dapat po nasa sa atin yung pagnanais. Nasa sa atin dapat yung kagustuhan na makapagbigay. Because if we don't have the willingness, we will not be able to give as we are instructed to do. Friends, if we lack the willingness to give, giving will just be like forcing ourselves to give up something. Tama po ba? Pag wala sa atin yung kagustuhan na makapagbigay, parang pinipilit lang po natin yung sarili natin sa isang bagay na ayaw natin gawin. And that is not the kind of giving that we are supposed to do, especially as followers and believers. That is not the kind of giving that our Almighty Father Yahweh and our Messiah Yeshua commanded us to do. Hindi po ito yung klase ng pagbibigay na dapat nating makagawian. Ano po ang sabi ni Haring David sa 1 Chronicles 29 verse 17? I know, Yahweh, that you test people's hearts. You are happy when people do what is right. I have willingly given all these things. I gave with an honest heart. Your people gathered here are happy to give to you. I am happy to see their giving. Everyone say hallelujah. Friends, the scripture is telling us that our Almighty Father Yahweh tests and examines our hearts. Sinisiyasat po ng ating Amang Yahweh yung puso natin, which means Yahweh knows how we feel about giving. Tama po ba? Alam ng ating Amang Yahweh kung ano talaga ang tunay na raramdaman natin when it comes to giving. That's why, just like King David, we must give willingly, we must give happily and truthfully. Ibig sabihin po mga kapatid, dapat hindi pilit. Dapat po talagang gusto nating magbigay. Dapat po masaya tayong nagbibigay. Dapat taus-puso yung ating pagbibigay. Hallelujah. Remember, giving is not a have to. All right? Ulitin ko po mga kapatid. Giving is not a have to, but a want to. We give not because we have to or we need to. We give because we really want to. Tama po ba? Ito dapat mga kapatid, ang kaisipan natin pagdating sa pagbibigay. Ito dapat ang pamantayan natin at basihan natin sa ating pagbibigay. Ito po dapat ang dahilan natin kung bakit tayo nagbibigay. Dahil gusto natin. Gaano man kaliit, gaano man kalaki yung pagbibigay natin, the important thing is, our giving is driven and motivated by the willingness and desire to share what we have. Hallelujah. Because the truth is, it's not about what we give or who we give to. It's about the willingness and desire to give. Ito po ang mahalaga, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan. Ito po ang tinitignan ng ating Amang Yahweh. Our willingness and desire to give. What's important is that you recognize the opportunity to give and you acknowledge it by acting on it. Ang mahalaga po, nakita mo at dinamit mo yung pagkakataon para makapagbigay ka. Hallelujah! What's important is that you believe that giving is the right and good thing to do. Ang mahalaga na niniwala ka na ang pagbibigay ay tama at mabuti. We said this because the sad truth is there are people who really don't value giving. Unfortunately, there are people who really don't see the importance of giving. May mga tao po na talagang walang pagpapahalaga sa pagbibigay. Para sa kanila, hindi nila kailangang 
magbigay. In fact, all they want is to be on the receiving end. Tama po ba? Mas gusto nila sila yung tumatanggap. Mas gusto nila sila yung binibigyan. Ano po ang sinabi ni Apostol Pablo sa Acts 20 verse 35? I showed you in all things that you should work as I did and help the weak. I taught you to remember the words of Yahshua. He said, it's more blessed to give than to receive. It's more blessed to give than to receive. So according to Apostle Paul, Yahshua himself said that giving is better than receiving. Mas mapala daw po ang nagbibigay kesa sa tumatanggap. But like we said, there are people who are more interested with what they can get than what they can give. Tama po ba? May mga tao nang iniisip lang ay kung ano ang pwede nilang makuha at matanggap. Unfortunately, these people are all about selfish gain and personal interest. These people are driven by greed and self-centeredness. At madami po tayong makikitang ganyang mga tao, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan. I'm sure you would agree with me na madami po tayong makikitang ganyang mga tao. And you know what? Most of the time, a lot of these people are people in position and in power. Tama po ba? Instead of using their status, instead of using their influence to give and to do what they can for other people, they are more busy and concerned with what they can get and receive. And the thing is, most of the time, even if they give, we can see that their act of giving is actually selfishness in disguise. Tama po ba mga kapatid? Their act of giving most of the time is actually selfishness in disguise or what we call selfish giving. Dahil makikita natin mga kapatid, makikita natin na yung pagbibigay nila ay ginagamit nila para lang sa sarili nilang kapakanan. We can see that their intention is really not to give but to gain more for themselves using their giving. Tama po ba? Just like what our Messiah Yeshua despised about the Pharisees. We can read from the scripture that these people, the Pharisees, are known for being self-righteous hypocrites. And our Messiah Yeshua has warned us about their practices with how they keep the law for the wrong reasons. How they use it, how they use the law for selfish gain and to attract attention from the people. Ano po bang sinabi ng ating Messiah Yeshua tungkol sa mga pariseyo, tungkol sa mga taong ito? Let us read Matthew 23, verse 25. Ang sabi po, You Pharisees and teachers of the law are show-offs and you're in for trouble. You wash the outside of your cups and dishes while inside there is nothing but greed and selfishness. So our Messiah Yeshua is telling that the Pharisees are just a bunch of what? Show-offs. Tama po ba? Mga kapatid, mga kaibigan? Our Messiah Yeshua is telling us that the Pharisees are just a bunch of show-offs. Dahil puro pagpapasikat at pagpapakitang gilas lang ang ginagawa nila. They will make people see that they are keeping the law, that they are obeying the commands accordingly. Pero ang totoo po, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan, ang mga ginagawa nila ay puno ng kasakiman at pagiging makasarili. Like we said, they use their position, they use their power, to exalt and to magnify themselves. Tama po. They use their influence, their authority for selfish gain and self-glorification. 
Kaya mababasa din po natin, mga kapatid, na tayo po ay pinapaalalahanan ng ating Misa Yeshua tungkol sa mga ganitong gawi ng mga pariseyo. Let us read what Yahshua said in Matthew 6, 1 to 3. Ang sabi po ng ating Misa Yeshua, Be careful when you do things, don't do them in front of people to be seen by them. If you do that, then you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. When you give to the poor, don't be like the hypocrites. Sino daw po yung mga hypocrites, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan? Yung mga pariseyo po. Ang sabi po ng ating Misa Yeshua, Don't be like the hypocrites. They blow trumpets before they give so that people will see them. They do that in the synagogues and on the streets. They want other people to honor them. So it's very clear, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan, that our Messiah Yeshua detests pretentious deeds and selfish giving. Yeshua hates hypocritical actions and behavior that are influenced by self-glorification and gratification. Yeshua hates the kind of giving that is driven by greed and selfishness. Ayaw po ng ating Misa Yeshua ng mapagkunwari at hindi taos pusong pagbibigay. Ayaw ng ating Misa Yeshua ng pagbibigay na ang hangarin ay pansariling kapakanan at kasakiman. Kaya ang sabi po sa Colossians 3, verse 23, Whatever you do, do it wholeheartedly as though you were working for Yahweh and not for people. Ang sabi po sa Tagalog, anuman ang inyong ginagawa, gawin ninyo ito ng buong puso na parang kay Yahweh kayo naglilingkod at hindi sa mga tao. At kasama po dito, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan, kasama po sa tinutukoy dito ay yung pagbibigay natin. So hindi lang po tayo basta nagbibigay, we must give wholeheartedly as though we are giving to our Almighty Father Yahweh. Hallelujah! Dapat daw po magbigay tayo ng taus puso, ng buong puso na parang kay Amang Yahweh tayo nagbibigay. You know why? Because true giving is never selfish. Hallelujah! True giving is never self-centered. True giving is never about self-gain and personal interest. True giving is never about ourselves and what we will receive in return. Ang tunay at buong pusong pagbibigay ay hindi po nauudyukan ng kasakiman at pangsariling kapakanan. Remember friends, we give freely and wholeheartedly because it is the right and good thing to do. Hallelujah. We give truthfully and sincerely because we believe that this kind of giving is Yahweh's will and purpose for us. We share, we offer what we have without hesitation, without regret, and without expectation because that is the real essence of giving. That is what giving is all about. Hallelujah. Kaya nga ito po ang dapat na makita mula sa atin. Lalo na po mga kapatid bilang mga mana ng palataya. Ito po dapat ang maging gawin natin at isabuhay natin bilang mga tagasunod ng ating Messiah Yeshua. You know why? Because that is the kind of giving that our Almighty Father Yahweh Himself did on our behalf. That is the kind of giving that our Messiah Yeshua taught us and instructed us to do. The kind of giving that is rooted in love, rooted in humility, in kindness, in generosity and compassion. Ganitong klase ng pagbibigay po, yung ginawa at ipinakita sa atin ng ating Amang Yahweh at ng ating Messiah Yeshua. Hallelujah! It says in John 3.16, For Yahweh so loved the world that He gave His only Son 
that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Everyone say hallelujah. So the passage is reminding us about Yahweh's unwavering and steadfast love for His people. And Yahweh has proven His love to us by graciously giving us His only Son. Para saan po mga kapatid? As ransom for our sins. Dahil sa kanyang pagmamahal sa atin, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan, ibinigay ng ating amang Yahweh yung kanyang bugtong na anak para tayo po ay mabigyan ng kaligtasan mula sa ating mga kasalanan. Now this time, let us read what Yahshua did in Galatians 1, verse 4. Ano po ba yung ginawa ng ating Messiah Yeshua? Yahshua gave Himself for our sins to free us from this evil, evil world we live in. This is what Yahweh, the Father, wanted. Yahshua gave Himself for our sins. Ibinigay daw po ng ating Messiah Yeshua yung kanyang sariling buhay para tayo po ay maligtas mula sa ating mga kasalanan. Yahshua made the ultimate sacrifice by giving up His own life so we can have and live our lives. So, again, as followers and believers, we have seen, we have experienced true giving from our Almighty Father Yahweh and our Messiah Yeshua. Tama po ba? Nakita at naranasan natin mula sa ating Amang Yahweh at sa ating Messiah Yeshua, yung lubos at ganap na pagbibigay. Now let me ask you this. Is this the kind of giving that can be seen from you? Masasabi mo ba na ganito yung klase ng pagbibigay na ginagawa mo? Is your giving rooted in love? Is your giving rooted in humility, in kindness, in generosity and compassion, just like what Yahweh and our Messiah Yeshua did for us. Yung pagbibigay mo ba ay dahil sa pag-ibig, sa kabutihan at sa kababaang loob? Is your giving a reflection and manifestation of Yahweh's Word and Yahshua's teachings? O baka naman ang umiiral sa pagbibigay mo ay pansariling kapakanan at paghahangad kaysa kabutihan at malasakit. Baka naman hindi bukal, baka hindi taos-puso yung pagbibigay na ginagawa mo. Maybe giving is more of a burden or inconvenience to you instead of seeing it as an opportunity to share, an opportunity to help and to bless others. Friends, we said this because the sad truth is, for some people, giving is inconvenient and burdensome. For some people, they would rather choose not to give. Para sa ibang mga tao po, ang tingin nila sa pagbibigay ay abala at pabigat. Kaya mas pinipili na lang nila na hindi magbigay. In fact, for some people, giving is a disadvantage. Tama po ba? Giving is a disadvantage for some people because it puts them on the losing end. Bakit po losing end, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan? Dahil para po sa kanila, nawawalan sila kapag nagbibigay sila. Para sa kanila, kawalan kapag nagbigay sila. Giving makes them feel that they are losing something. It makes them feel that something is taken from them. It makes them feel less and lacking. Ganun po ang nararamdaman nila, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan, tuwing sila ay nagbibigay. Pero ano po ang sinabi sa Proverbs 11, verse 24? Some people give much, but gains even more. Ulitin po natin, some people give much, but gains even more. The others don't give what they should and they end up poor. So, contrary to what other people think, 
yung mga taong mapagbigay ay mas lalo pang nagkakaroon. Tama po ba? They gain and increase even more. Now, on the other hand, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan, yung mga taong hindi daw po nagbibigay ng dapat nilang ibigay, ano po ang nangyayari? Sila daw po ay hahantong sa paghihirap at mauuwi sa kahirapan. The more they withhold, the more they become poor. Which confirms, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan, yung binasa natin kanina, that the more you give, the more you receive. Tama po ba? The more you give, the more you receive. And withholding what you should give will make you lose even more. Do you agree with this, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan? Do you agree with, the, with this idea and principle? Naniniwala po ba kayo na ito ay totoo, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan? You see, giving puts you in a position to receive more. Giving puts you in a position to receive more. Ano po ang ibig sabihin nito, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan? It means, when you freely give, you are also creating more rooms for bigger and greater blessings. Hallelujah! You are creating more space for bigger and greater blessings. Dahil sa pagbibigay mo, nagkakaroon ng lugar yung mga pagpapala na nakalaan para sa'yo. Hallelujah! When you give wholeheartedly, you are also creating new opportunities, new possibilities for more blessings to reach you and happen in your life. Dahil sa pagbibigay mo, nagkakaroon ng daluyan yung mga pagpapala para makarating sa'yo. Hallelujah! That's why it says in Proverbs 22 verse 9, a generous person will be blessed. Hallelujah! A generous person will be blessed because he shares his food with the poor. So pagpapalain daw po ang taong mapagbigay. Siya ay sasagana, siya ay magtatagumpay sa buhay. Hallelujah! It means through giving, a generous person will succeed and prosper in life. Ibig sabihin mga kapatid, ito po ay patunay lang na hindi kawalan at hindi pabigat ang pagbibigay. On the contrary, you will gain and receive even more when you give. Hallelujah! But unfortunately, a lot of people don't realize this. A lot of people still don't believe in giving. A lot of people still choose not to give. They would rather withhold and keep what they have for themselves. Imbis na magbigay, mas pinipili nilang panghawakan at sarilinin kung ano yung meron sila para hindi sila kulangin o mawalan. Pero ano po ang paalala sa atin? Sa 1 Timothy 6 verse 18, Instruct them to do what is good, to be rich in good works. Hear this, mga kapatid. To be ready to give and willing to share. Instruct them to be ready to give and willing to share. So dapat daw po gumawa tayo ng mabuti. Dapat daw po maging mayaman tayo sa mabubuting gawa. At higit sa lahat mga kapatid, mga kaibigan, dapat daw po maging handa tayo na magbigay at magbahagi sa ating kapwa. Hallelujah! We must always be ready. We must always be willing to give to share, and to offer what we have to other people. You see, friends, everyone has something to give. Listen to this. Everyone has something to give. Everyone has something to share and to offer. But you know what? The problem is not everyone is willing to give. 
The problem is not everyone wants to share and offer what they have. Tama po ba? Lahat po tayo. Meron tayong pwedeng maibigay. Lahat po tayo. Meron tayong pwedeng maibahagi sa iba. Lahat tayo. Meron tayong kakayahan na magbigay. Maliit man po o malaki yung pwede nating ibigay, our point is we all have something to give. But then again, not everyone wants to give. Not everyone wants to share what they can offer. Tama po ba? Ang tanong natin mga kapatid, bakit po kaya? Why do you think some people are hesitant to give? Why do you think people are hesitant to share what they have. Despite the fact that giving is the right and good thing to do, why do you think some people still refuse to give? Kahit nalalaman po nila na dapat tayong maging mapagbigay, may mga tao pa rin na mas pinipili ang hindi magbigay. So why is that? Well, like we said, we know that giving is, is right and good. As followers and believers, we are instructed to give. That's why we also know the fact that giving is pleasing to our Almighty Father Yahweh. Tama po ba? However, there are people who refuses to give and neglects giving simply because they fear and worry for themselves. Natatakot at nangangamba sila na kapag nagbigay sila, sila naman yung kakapusin. Nangangamba sila na pag nagbigay sila, sila naman yung mga ngailangan. Nag-aalinlangan sila magbigay dahil mas nangingibabaw sa kanila yung takot, nangingibabaw sa kanila yung pangamba na baka sila naman yung kulangin at mawalan. Tama po ba? That's why some people are hesitant. Some people are half-hearted when it comes to giving. Well, the truth is, it's not easy to think of other people. It's not easy to offer to them what we have when we also need to worry if what we have is enough. Tama po ba? Mahirap pong isipin, mahirap maisip na dapat tayong magbigay kung tayo mismo natatakot tayo, nangangamba tayo na baka hindi sapat at baka kulangin yung kung anong meron tayo. That's why being in this kind of situation makes giving very challenging. It makes giving difficult for a lot of people. In fact, there are times when we really want to give, but the fear of not having enough is preventing us from sharing what we can. Tama po ba? Minsan gusto nating magbigay. Pero pinipigilan tayo ng takot natin na baka tayo ang Kulangin. The fear of not having enough is hindering us from giving. Pero ano po ang sinabi mga kapatid? Sa Proverbs 3, verse 27. Do not withhold good from those who need it when you have the ability to help. Do not withhold good from those who need it. Everyone say hallelujah. So wag daw po nating ipagkait Huwag nating ipagdamot yung mabuting gawa at kagandahang loob sa mga nangangailangan. Lalo na kung tayo po ay mayroong kakayahan at nasa posisyon para tumulong o para magbigay. Again, everyone has something to give. Everyone has something to share with others. But it doesn't mean that you must give everything that you have. Tama po ba? It doesn't mean na dapat mong ibigay yung lahat na meron ka. Friends, our point is, let us give and offer what we can. Let us be ready and willing to give at all times. Ano man po yung gusto at kaya nating ibigay, Ang mahalaga po mga kapatid, mga kaibigan ay yung hangarin natin na makapagbigay yung kagustuhan nating makapagbahagi sa ating kapwa. Hallelujah! What's important is our willingness and desire 
to give and share with others what we have. Ito po ang mahalaga, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan. Ito po ang tinitignan ng ating amang Yahweh mula sa atin. That's why it says in Hebrews 13, verse 16, Do not forget to do good to others and share with them what you have. Ulitin po natin. Do not forget to do good to others and share with them what you have. These are the sacrifices that pleases Yahweh. Hallelujah! So wag daw po natin kalimutan ang paggawa ng mabuti para sa ating kapwa. Wag daw po tayong mapapagod, wag tayong hihinto sa ating mabubuting gawa. At kasama po doon, mga kapatid, yung lubos at tauspuso nating pagbibigay at pagbabahagi sa ating kapwa. Let us not allow our situation in life to, to hinder us from giving and sharing with others what we have. Let us not allow our worries, our fears to stop us from giving wholeheartedly as we are commanded and instructed to do. Instead, let us look for more ways. Let us look for opportunities for us to share and give more. Hallelujah. And you know what, friends? The great thing is, if Yahweh sees from us the willingness and desire to give, to share with others, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan, Yahweh Himself will help us. He will make ways for us so we can continue our giving. Hallelujah! Yahweh Himself will make ways for us so we can continue to bless more people. Siya mismo, mga kapatid, ang gagawa ng paraan, ang magbibigay sa atin ng pamamaraan para patuloy tayo makapagbigay at maging pagpapala sa ibang mga tao. Hallelujah! In fact, it says in 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8, And Yahweh can give you more blessings than you need. Then you will always have plenty of everything. You will have enough to give to every. Good work. Everyone say hallelujah. So our Almighty Father Yahweh will not only bless us with what we need. Hindi lang po yun na ibibigay niya sa atin, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan. Ano po ang sabi? Yahweh will provide us with so much more. Bibigyan tayo ng ating amang Yahweh ng sobra-sobra so we will be able to give and extend kindness and generosity to others. Hallelujah. Pagpapalain pagkakalooban tayo ng ating amang yawe ng higit pa sa ating kinakailangan para ito po ay magamit natin sa pagbibigay natin sa ating kapwa. Yahweh will bless us abundantly so we will have plenty and more than enough to bless other people. Kaya hindi po natin kailangang matakot, hindi natin kailangang mangamba, Dahil ang ating amang Yahweh po mismo ang magpupuno sa atin para hindi tayo kulangin at kapusin. Hallelujah! Our Almighty Father Yahweh will make our cups overflow. And Yahweh will use our cups to fill the cups of other people. Gagamitin po ng ating amang Yahweh yung pagbibigay natin bilang daluyan ng kanyang pagpapala sa ibang mga tao. Gagamitin po ng ating amang Yahweh yung pagbibigay natin para makarating, para umabot yung mga pagpapala niya sa mas madami pang tao. Hallelujah! And you know what, friends? The great thing is, as we continue to give, as we continue to share what Yahweh has given us, more people will get to know Him. Tama po ba? Sa patuloy natin pagbibigay, more people will be able to experience Him in their lives. Most of all, more people will give thanks and praise to our Almighty Father Yahweh. Ang sabi po sa 2 Corinthians 9, verse 11, Yahweh will make you rich in every way so that you can always give freely. And your giving through us will cause many to give thanks 
to Yahweh. Everyone say hallelujah. So friends, the more we give, the more we share to others what Yahweh has given us, ano po ang mangyayari? More people will give thanks and praise to our Almighty Father Yahweh. Hallelujah. Sa pamamagitan ng ating patuloy na pagbibigay, patuloy din pong dumadami yung mga tao na nagbibigay ng kapurihan at pasasalamat sa ating Amang Yahweh. That's why, as followers and believers, let us not waste any opportunity to bless others through our giving. Wag po nating sayangin yung pagkakataon na maging pagpapala tayo sa ibang mga tao. Higit sa lahat, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan, gamitin natin yung pagbibigay natin para mas madami pa ang makakilala at mas madami pa ang manampalataya sa ating Amang Yahweh at sa ating Messiah Yeshua. Remember, friends, we are instructed to give and to share what we have, which means giving is part of our obedience to Yahweh. Tama po ba? Kasama po sa ating pagsunod yung bukal at taos puso nating pagbibigay. And Yahweh has made us capable of giving through His blessings and provisions. Binigyan po tayo ng, ng ating amang Yahweh ng kakayahan para tayo ay makapagbigay. That's why as followers and believers, let us continue to fulfill and uphold our purpose of giving. Let us answer to Yahweh's call to give and share what He has given us, especially to those who are in need. Wag po nating hayaang huminto sa atin yung pagdaloy ng pagpapala ng ating Amang Yahweh. Tama po ba? Let us do and give our best to be vessels, to be instruments of Yahweh's blessings through our giving. And the thing is, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan, giving doesn't always have to be financial or monetary. Giving is not always about physical or material things. Giving doesn't need to be something tangible or something that we can use to buy things. Hindi la po ganong klaseng pagbibigay ang pwede natin gawin. Because we can always give, we can always offer others our time, our effort. We can always give our attention, our understanding and support. We can lend a listening ear. We can share kind words or offer to help in any way we can. We can also share with people our faith. We can share with them our testimony. We can pray for them. We can witness to them or by just simply being there for them. Hallelujah. We can do all these things to give and make a significant and meaningful difference in someone's life. Friends, the important thing is we are giving and doing all this willfully and wholeheartedly. What's important is that we are giving and sharing what we can to others because we believe that it is the right and good thing to do. Ang mahalaga po, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan, bukal at taos puso tayong nagbibigay dahil ito po ay nakalulugod at nakapagbibigay ng kapurihan at pasasalamat sa ating Amang Yahweh. Hallelujah! Now, if you honestly think that you haven't developed yet, the habit of giving. If you think that you have not been able to give and share as we are commanded to do. Kung sa tingin mo, hindi mo nagagawa, kung hindi mo natutupad yung layunin mong magbigay at magbahagi sa iba. Well, it's never too late to change all that. In fact, I encourage you to start now and be a vessel of Yahweh's blessings to the people around you. Remember, friends, there, there's always an opportunity for us to bless others through our giving. We can always give and share something with someone kung talaga pong gugustuhin natin. 
And the more we seek to give, the more we seek to bless others, Yahweh will bless us even more. And He will open more doors of possibilities for us to fulfill our purpose of giving. Hallelujah. That's why let us continue to pray. Let us continue to ask our Almighty Father Yahweh to guide us, to use us, and to put us in situations that will allow us to give and share His blessings to many more people. Hilingin po natin sa ating Amang Yahweh na patuloy niya tayong gabayan at gamitin sa pagbibigay at pagbabahagi ng kanyang mga pagpapala sa ibang mga tao. The thing is, true giving is not about the amount you give or how frequent you give. Friends, true giving is about the willingness and the desire to freely give and share what you have, no matter what. That's why as followers and believers, let us embrace and make giving our way of life. Sikapin po natin, isabuhay natin yung tunay at tauspusong pagbibigay. And through the habit of true giving, let us reflect and represent Yahweh's kindness and the examples of our Messiah Yeshua to all people. Everyone say hallelujah. Friends, at this point, let me invite you once again to join me in prayer as we give thanks and praise to our Almighty Father Yahweh. Let us pray. Heavenly Father Yahweh, we thank and praise you once again for this wonderful and glorious Sabbath day. We thank you for allowing us to receive your favors and blessings as we celebrate your Sabbath this week. Thank you, Father, for the opportunity to gather in your presence to experience your love, your faithfulness, your grace as one family and as one ministry. Father Yahweh, we seek your mercy and forgiveness. Forgive us our sins. Forgive our shortcomings. Cleanse us from all impurities and transgressions. Thank you, Father Yahweh, for blessing us today with your message and truth. May your powerful and living word continuously guide us and help us to always be willing and eager to freely give as you have commanded us to. Let your word fill our hearts and minds with the utmost desire to wholeheartedly share what we have in every situation and in all circumstances. Help us, Father Yahweh, to always be true givers. Remind us to always be kind and generous and to never be consumed by selfishness. Bless us, Father Yahweh, with the right attitude. Create in us a giving and a generous heart. Thank you, Father Yahweh, for all the brethren and for everyone who joined our celebration today. We ask you to bless them and be with them all the time. Father Yahweh, we lift to you our nation. We entrust to you our country and our leaders. We lift to you the safety and the well-being of our land. Father Yahweh, grant us comfort. Grant us healing. Touch all of us with your mighty healing hands, especially those who are sick, unwell, and in pain in mind, in body, in heart, and in spirit. Grant us peace, Father Yahweh. Let your peace thrive and be evident in all the world and to all people. Let your peace prevail especially in your nation, Israel. Help us to love and build each other up. Once again, thank you so much, Father Yahweh, and we give you back all the glory and praise. All this we ask through the name of your Son, our Savior, Yahshua Messiah. Everyone say, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Friends, before we end our message today, let us read first. Luke 6, verse 38. Luke 6, Verse 38, it says, Give, and you will receive. Give, and you will receive. You will be given much. It will be poured into your hands, more than you can hold. You will be given so much that it will spill into your lap. The way you give to others 
is the way Yahweh will give to you. Everyone say hallelujah. Friends, the passage is reminding us once again about the significance of true giving and how we should practice it, especially as followers and believers. Ito po ay isang mahalagang paalala na dapat nating sikapin at isabuhay yung tunay at taos-pusong pagbibigay na ipinakita sa atin at ginawa para sa atin ng ating Amang Yahweh at ng ating Messiah Yeshua. Again, friends, our Almighty Father Yahweh commanded us to always be ready, to be willing to give and share what we have. And our Messiah Yeshua taught us how to live a life of generosity and kindness. At bilang mga mano ng palataya, dapat po natin itong sundin, dapat po natin itong tularan, at dapat natin itong maipakita sa ating pamumuhay. Remember, friends, there are lots of ways for us to give. There are lots of ways for us to share what we have. Hindi po tayo mauubusan ng pamamaraan para makapagbigay tayo sa ibang mga tao. Ang mahalaga po, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan, nagbibigay tayo dahil ito ay nagdudulot sa atin ng kagalakan. Nagbibigay tayo dahil ito po ay tama, ito ay mabuti, at higit sa lahat, Nagbibigay tayo dahil ito po ay nakalulugod at katanggap-tanggap sa ating Amang Yahweh. Hallelujah! Kahit po minsan parang mahirap, kahit minsan parang hindi natin kaya magbigay, never look for excuses not to give. Instead, always look for ways to offer kindness and extend generosity to other people. Always look for ways for you to be an instrument of Yahweh's favors and blessings to other people. And you know what, friends? I assure you that our Almighty Father Yahweh will bless you more and provide you with everything you need according to the riches of His glory. Everyone say hallelujah. Again, friends, thank you so much for joining our Sabbath celebration today. I hope and pray that you found encouragement and inspiration through Yahweh's word that we received today. A blessed and a meaningful Sabbath day, Revival of Faith Ministries. Hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. Let us stand up and receive Yahweh's blessings today. Let's raise our hands. Yevereka ka Yahweh, vijish mereka, yair Yahweh, panavileka, vikunika, yesa Yahweh, panavileka, vsm. Leka Shalom. May I will bless you and keep you. May I make shine His face on you and be gracious to you. May I will lift up His face unto you and give you peace. Hallelujah.